You know what? We like to keep it real on City Line. So not only do we give you advice, we also like to own it when we screw up in our own lives. So been hosting the show for almost 10 years, and I'm still not listening to anything anyone tells me on this show. <laughs> because I'm going to tell you what happened with it. It was, wasn't even a DIY. Um, this was a project. We had a laundry room, and it's not really a laundry room. It's like a little nook. And I thought, oh, well, laundry room equals I need a sink, right? So I said to the contractor, well, I'm definitely going to have to find a sink. Like, but just a teeny tiny little space. So I went looking for this sink. I, I could not find the sink, but while I was looking for the sink, I thought it would be a good idea if I told him to just go ahead and install the faucet. Right. So he installed the faucet. It's this amazing retractable. I never found the sink. <laughs> So basically, you have my washer dryer, and then on this wall, there's just a wall with a faucet. And it's retractable. And there's no drain, there's no sink, there's, there's not so even a bucket. There's, there's so, so much, much wrong, wrong with this. this. Like, See, this is how you spin it, though, because I, mean, I would just put like water station and go with like fill <laughs> and then it's on the side. Even it's water stations water have drains. I know. I'm going to come to your house and install a sink. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's just, it's one of those things where you start the reno and you're not properly timing things out sure. and you're not thinking properly you're thinking while I have the contractor here especially because you know your time is very precious right. you want to get everything done you could possibly get done so that's my uh, screw up and hey I have not fixed it yet <laughs> um, Brian what do you want to tell us about so I'm actually working on something right now it's a really high-end closet but I went with a slightly cheaper company okay <laughs> oh I know better than that yeah what you so the closet for? the closet goes in and it turns out to be like a peachy color. Like, okay. who in 2018 is putting in a peach closet? Yeah. Nobody. Not really. <laughs> anyway, so I'm, I have this idea. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to put some, like, actual gold metal sheets mm. in the back. So I cut them all. I put them in. I do a really nice job. Come back the next day. The adhesive shrunk and left, like, dents in the metal. Oh, gosh. So at this point, my client, I'd, like, I just, like, cried a little bit and then walked <laughs> away for a week. <laughs> Came back with a fresh mind and I had to rip it out and oh. put in a new MDF back and paint oh. the entire closet. And so I'm in the middle of that right now. We have a picture of where he's at right now with the fixing of this project. Obviously, it's going to take a little <laughs> bit of time to get there. Yeah. Um, but that's okay because you know what? We've all been in the same boat. And that's the thing with being a little bit more experimental with what I do. Yeah. It doesn't always work out. It almost always does. But when it doesn't, you just got to start over. That's true. And you know what's cool about your mistake, it's not a faucet going out to nowhere. <laughs> that is pretty cool about my mistake. A little bit yeah. bitter about that. <laughs> okay, your closet needs a faucet. Maybe, yeah, maybe just a faucet. Station. Yeah, well. Go. Leanne, what do you got? Well, I am certifiably my own worst contractor. <laughs> and there's something to be said about the, the shoemaker syndrome, right? Yes. That, you know, I, I can do beautiful things for other people and I can't manage to spoil it all for myself. Yeah. yeah. So we're in the midst of a reno uh, of our kitchen right now that probably will end in 2027. <laughs> um, it's just taking forever. With the closet that I'm doing. With the closet. <laughs> <laughs> but there was this one bulkhead and uh -huh. it's become the $10,000 bulkhead. Oh my gosh. That I have had it built four times now. Uh oh. And the first two times, the first time was based on an in, on a, a first draft of the drawing of the kitchen that had, it had since been revised like seven times. Oops. So that was my mistake. And then we tweaked one little thing in one area and then it messed up the bulkhead that it was like, another inch short uh -huh. so I had my contractor in to rebuild it the inch difference yeah. so then by the time install day came I was an inch too long oh. and I literally just wanted to take a hacksaw oh, yeah. to this thing. To get the rid of it where completely. you like, literally just want yeah. to scream? And that's when you saw that picture, that's basically what I did. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have this beautiful, like beautiful cabinetry with this like gnarly, unpatched yeah. corner bead that a needs extra to texture, be, you know, you know it's, it's a thing. Yes, I'm going to start a new trend. <laughs> for the sure. sad thing is that when, if you see that enough, you'll just get used to it and be okay with it. It's like tinfoil on the window, right? Totally. I, listen, I might bring wallpaper borders back and <laughs> I'll make it a thing. Okay, we have a little bit of time, and I have one more picture um, from you, so I just want to see these spindles um, from a staircase. What yes. happened?
happened here? So this was the best attempt at a DIY project for myself. I was like, you know, I want to refresh the 80s oak overload and yeah. prime paint. And that started on my maternity leave with my first son, who's now turning 11. <laughs> so they're still primed. And I happened to notice, like, the little piece of painter's tape stuck on there that's literally been there for 10 years. Yeah. And we've just signed the contract with the staircase company. In two months, it's all getting ripped out. So oh I don't know. See, that's a silver lining. You don't have Maybe. to finish your project. Just wait a decade until well, just move. <laughs> just move. Yeah, just move. as old as is. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not on board with this advice, no. everyone watching. I'm not on board. I love it. Well, I like the fact that we um, are always talking here about prep, 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 but the, the fact of the matter is we're all leading busy lives. So if you do sure. happen to make a mistake, attack it, like get back to it when you can get back to it. Or Otherwise, don't and hire someone else to do it for yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes you got to give up a DIY project and get the pros in to do you it bet. for you, and that's okay. I mean, you yeah. would be the pro that would go in totally to I help people out. Finish up I your sloppy stairs. work. Yeah, <laughs> come over. He loves doing that stuff. <laughs> Guys, thank you for being so honest. Thank you.